And if I can start with Celiad, first of all, um, so, so uh, the programs that we're really exciting go, go beyond the NKG2D approach. We've, we're developing a platform, again, based on shRNA, interfering RNA, that, that's generating a non-gene edited allogeneic approach. Uh, and we're in clinical trial now in multiple myeloma, testing out a BCMA car with an shRNA. So this is an all-in-one vector, single transduction approach generating non-gene edited allogeneic CAR T cells. And we're really looking forward to, to having clinical results as we go into the second half of this year to, to not only understand the, the activity of the BCMA CAR, but also to understand the, the potential of our shRNA platform as, as, a, as a means to go forward, not just to target single genes, but to target multiple genes in a multiplex context. So, so we're very excited uh, at Celiac Oncology in terms of looking at those, those developments. Across the broader field, I think it's really exciting. Um, so the CAR TCR conference, uh, particularly the Europe uh, CAR TCR conference, of course, you know, showcased activities that are going on across Europe. There's a lot of understanding, I feel, and that certainly this was showcased in the meeting, to understand how the current licensed uh, CAR Ts, so particularly targeting CD19, um, some of the evidence that's coming from those to help really understand some of the mechanisms of action and perhaps try to understand you know, some clues that we could try and build into CAR Ts outside of the CD19 area to try and generate you know, greater, more durable responses. Um, aside from the, 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 the session I shared, of course, which was a focus around CAR Ts, actually for me this year, I've been really interested in seeing how the TCRT approaches have been developing. And this is still relatively early, but there's some very interesting platforms that are coming out in terms of isolating T cell receptors of novel specificity that may allow those to, to drive into the clinic. And some new companies, newer companies, certainly in Europe, such as T-Knife uh, and uh, Anoka uh, in particular, have come up with interesting ideas, really early stage to try and uh, drive that particular area forward. So from a European perspective, I think that's quite interesting and exciting. Uh, but across the piece, clearly the, the whole idea of engineering uh, T-cells and other cells for therapeutic application is gaining more and more my mainstream uh, appreciation. And I think going forward over the coming years, really taking that, that expectation and, and being able to deliver clinical responses of greater durability, I think is going to be key for the field. 